welcome my beautiful star seeds light workers light barriers soul family and friends and so welcome so before we get started with the reading i always do a mini meditation so of course i'm going to invoke my higher self innate um, the universe the holy spirit uh, of course mother gaia to be here my archangels angels fairies and last but not least my ancestors so I will do a little clearing here. All you need to do is take a deep breath in and release. And I will do a clearing for you. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. And now I'm going to take two seconds here to, for all of you to feel my love towards all of you out there. I'm sending you love, light, and also, of course, my mother as well, uh, sending you healing and blessings to all of you. Remember that she will keep praying for you three times a day and on the collective as well. If there's any messages that you want to leave my mom, just go ahead and leave them in the comments below because I will read them to her uh, as, she, as at any time and chance that I have. So again, uh, I want to thank all of you for being here. Thank you for, you know, for this beautiful spiritual journey that we've been going through together. I'm so all like so grateful for all of you here. Yes, sometimes I get tongue tied. I'm sorry, but um, you're gonna feel my heart to you. How much I love you all, and I thank all of you for being here. And let's get started with your readings. I'll be right back. Hi Capricorn and welcome to your weekly reading. This is from August 23rd to September 5th, 2021. I hope that you're all doing well. I'm so happy to be here tonight to do your readings and I look forward to all your beautiful messages. Now, Spirit says to me, as soon as I started like shuffling the cards, um, so in the past there was something that happened to some of you Capricorns. Now, this will may not all resonate with all of you. Uh, but you thought maybe someone or a situation in your life was really grand or uh, or a person in your life was like, you know, uh, someone that could never hurt you or something like that. And uh, for some of you, you got proven wrong on that. And from that point on, a lot of you uh, have uh, went into a stage of like the hermit mode in the sense like you took time off. Uh, you stayed really in your home the most as possible. Maybe some of you maybe went for walks or went to do groceries like usual, but uh, you stayed home. And uh, fr from staying home and uh, feeling safe in your sanctuary, you went into a, a situation where you started building your foundation in a different way. Okay, so I don't know whose message that is, but Spirit says that continue doing what you're doing. Uh, whatever that you're working on because it's working and it's going to help you um, in the near future okay that's the message I got so now let's start with your affirmation of the week uh, I hope that you're all doing well how is it how uh, how is it uh, how is it? it's not how is it how are you doing in you know in your life if everything is good in your country depending where you're from I hope everybody is okay in your family. And okay, so your first card for the affirmation is abundance. I like this card for you. 
It says here, I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. And so it is. Okay, now we're going to look into your animal totem to see what is your animal totem this week. What archangel is associated with you and what is the message that they want to relay? Capricorn. Okay, this card wants to come out. And Capricorn, you got the owl totem. The owl. I also see a dove here. No, it's an owl. Okay, so I have a white owl and I have a brown owl. Okay, so Owl Energy, and that's Archangel Book P. It says, listen to the messages of the angels. Listen to the messages of the angels. Beautiful. And now we're going to take out your challenge, which is what it is that you need to surrender to. All right. Let's see. Surrender, denial. Okay, I need to take my glasses to read. Accept people and situation exactly as they are without denying the difficulties. Then you can see things clearly and make the best decisions. So surrender denial. And now we're gonna take out also your angel number to see what is your angel number this week. Okay, you got a few, so we're gonna take a look at them together. So you got number nine. I am compassionate, I am compassionate, I am compassionate. The nines are also about endings, okay, closure. And Capricorn, it's your compassion that makes you shine. You're devoted to helping the greater good and have a strong talent for speaking up for others. Your soul is most satisfied when you are being of service so you got number nine then you got a master number number 55 i am evolving i am evolving i am evolving and so it is capricorn substantial change is in your future embrace the change a need to overcome your insecurities and let go of your fears so you got number nine and number 55 and the last one you got is zero 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 I am a creator, I am a creator, I am a creator. And Capricorn, you are being, you are one with the creator and there are no limits to what you can achieve. You have to, the ability to create something new and incredible in your lifetime here on earth. So if you see 955, five, five, you know, if you see 0055 zero, zero, five, five, or 0009 zero, zero, or 955 five, or 9, or, or 9, uh, no, sorry, 595, that, or 9000. Zero, zero, zero. If you see all these type of combinations, this is a confirmation of the reading that I have here for you. Oh, something fell. All right. I'll take it up later. So let's get started with your reading. All right. So, Capricorn, this reading is for Capricorn Sun and anywhere that there's Capricorn in your chart, this is your reading. Anytime you see this, will be the right time for you. If it resonates, claim it. Remember, it's a general reading. So if it does not resonate and it's confusing, then look at your rising. Look at your moon, of course. You know, that's about emotions. Venus about love and finances. And your north node is about your soul path and your purpose. Okay. Now, in this reading, I'm going to give you three cards for your recent past. Three cards for your current energy. Three cards for your immediate future. One card for what is hidden from you. And one card for the possible outcome. And then we're going to clarify the cards in which Spirit wants me to clarify for you. All right? So let's get started here with your reading, Capricorn. Sandy's sleeping. Okay, let's get started. So let's look at the past here. One, two.
Okay, so in your recent past, you got the Elephant reversed, the Two of Wands, and the Emperor reversed. So I have already Taurus here and Aries in the current energy. In the current energy for Capricorn. You have the Seven of Pentacles, the Four of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles. In your immediate future, you got the King of Cups upright, you got the Empress reversed, that's Venus. Okay, Venus energy here, that's reversed. It could also be Libra. Taurus, I got Aries here already. And let's see here, in the immediate future. And the Ace of Pentacles. What is hidden from you? Is the Ten of Cups. And the final, and the uh, po possible outcome, okay, is uh, the Eight of Wands energy. Okay, you asked me to take two cards. I will take two cards. All right, in the okay, in the overall energy, they gave me two cards. They gave me the three of cups energy with the five of cups. Uh, definitely here there was some something that took place in the past. There must have been interferences, people, places, or situations that took place here. Uh, someone here is definitely feeling left out. They're feeling abandoned, left out, left in the dark about a situation that they can't see clearly about. Uh, I can also be uh, feeling like lack of support. Even though support is there, uh, there's someone here that wants to do this on by themselves, okay? Now, in the recent past, you've got the Hierophant reversed with the Two of Wands and the uh, Emperor uh, reversed. Uh, definitely here, uh, in the past, you were making plans, okay? There was a determination to make plans with someone. Uh, where we're going to go, a lot of like passion here being exchanged. Uh, but something was holding back here or, or in, this, in this situation. Maybe you were dealing with a Taurus. Maybe you were dealing with an Aries. If that's not the case, there's a learned lesson that needs to be learned here. Something needs to be learned in a situation. And uh, maybe there was not the commitment in a situation in the way that you wanted with, a, uh, with an individual. Whatever this is, if it's about love or business. And feel also free to swap the energies around if this is not about you maybe it's about them okay but something about setting strong boundaries also is coming up right in the current energy you got the seven of pentacles the four of cups and the nine of pentacles you're definitely that you've been working a lot for some of you for finances i feel that your finances are getting like from a time maybe where you were making a lot of money some of you are really like from the seven you go to the nine for others of you here, it talks about where, um, if it's not about money or business, uh, you've been, uh, you're, you're at, in your current energy, you're at crossroads at this, in a situation. You've been looking at everything that you've gone through up to now, okay? How far have you come? Uh, there's an offer here for you. There's an offer. And normally when the four cups come up, comes up and there's an offer, usually someone rejects the offer. Here, uh, someone here is contemplating this offer. Uh, I don't feel that there's a re rejection. I really think that someone here is thinking about something really deeply in a situation. And I see that you're very independent here. And someone is working on themselves. In the immediate future, you got the King of Cups, the Empress Reversed, and the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Uh, definitely here, there is some type of money, maybe, or a gift that's coming in. Maybe th there is something here where, um, you know, there's something that's coming in for you some type of stability could be about love finances with the king of cups cancer scorpio pisces it doesn't have to be the sign uh, but there is definitely someone here that is emotionally available is stable is able to give uh give love is able to uh, they're, they're, they have a lot of kindness and able to give love okay but there was a missed opportunity and something else is coming up okay so and what's hidden from you is the ten of cups energy 
feeling happy, feeling contented in the home. Okay, um, this is about a new start in uh, in uh, love. This could be a soulmate energy. Um, for others of you, this could be a renewal. Uh, whatever it is, it's uh, it, like if you're single and you're not seeing anyone, Capricorn, then it's in like in your environment. You're feeling like this awe, like something new uh, inside of yourself. Maybe a love for your children, a love for your grandkids, or uh, love for your friends and for your family members, uh, you know, or you're in your community. All right? And... In the possible future, you got the Eight of Wands. So there is going to be a lot of communication and fast-paced communication coming in. There's a lot of passion here, all right? So now, let's clarify the cards for you. So we're going to start clarifying. Now, um, okay, we're going to clarify the cards. So let's start clarifying uh, the overall energy. Okay, so the overall energy, which is the five of cup, the five of pentacles and the three of cups. Let's look at this together. We've got the eight of cups. The Knight of Swords reversed. The Sun reversed. The Two of Swords and the Two of Cups. Okay, let's look at this together. So definitely there was something here of the past. Uh, like I said, interferences, people or places in a situation. Someone's feeling left out, abandoned, ghosted in a situation here. Okay. And what I'm being shown is that there was a lot of disappointments too as well. There was a lot of disappointments, okay, that took place. Um, sadness, disappointment in a situation here. Um, someone here definitely walked away. Okay. Someone here, someone here definitely walked away from the situation, whether it's you or vice versa. Uh, no messages were coming in. Okay. No messages were coming in from someone in particular here. And uh, there's uh, some type of, um, with the two of, of uh, the number 22 here, the two of swords and the two of cups energy. Um, there's indecisive about this connection. Okay, there is a connection here, a very beautiful connection. But someone here is indecisive. Now, let's look at the recent past or the past. Okay, you got the elephant reversed. Okay, you got the two of wands. And you got the emperor reversed. So that's, ooh, okay. All right. So, what's being shown to me in the past year was that someone here was coming out of a timeout where some healing was, uh, there was healing healing to be done here someone uh you know was healing and releasing uh, people or situations or emotions out of their life in this healing process with the chariot reversed uh capricorn um you, some of you were not able to move forward in a situation okay um and uh maybe you're dealing with a cancer or a sagittarius not able to move forward okay and uh, there was a lot of options here or dreams that you wanted and there was also a lot of confusion in the past about a, a specific situation but in the past they showed me here that abundance came to you okay or will be coming to you okay um the ace of cups talks about abundance and it's about you also returning to unconditional love it's about uh you know finding peace within the empress energy new opportunities came about okay it's about having that minus touch energy it's about creativity for, for uh, creativity it could be about fertility wholeness okay a lot of transformation took place here for you that's beautiful to see now let's look at the seven of pentacles the four of cups and the nine of pentacles here so you got again you got the six of pentacles reversed the nine of pentacles Let's look at the Four of Cups. Why is the Four of Cups here?
Okay. And the Nine, nine of Pentacles. into your own reading so when i asked for why the seven of pentacles is here it showed me that there was something that was uneven before in the past there was something unjust maybe you're giving too much and not receiving whether this is about business love or friendships or relationships okay and there's someone here is contemplating um again uh you've been working very hard okay you're very independent you've been working on your pentacles here uh you could also take a day off if you feel like it because you know you need to also uh, embrace uh, what you have done for yourself in the recent past till now in the current energy this is what they're showing me now the four of cups energy you are contemplating something okay in this current energy okay the four of cups you are looking at it it's there you are contemplating on something uh there's fear in the situation there's a secret around the situation that you cannot see at this time with the moon this is neptune and pisces with the five of swords uh there could be pe people or situations that do not have your higher back there could be a lie or deception around this play this situation and with the world reversed okay it's about unfinished business something is not or or you did not get the closure capricorn or there's unfinished business with a, an individual now what is being shown with the nine of pentacles is that yes what happened is that with this five of pentacles energy that you had in the overall someone here came full circle they healed they healed their situation they worked on their pentacles and there's a gain coming towards you all right you came into your own reading capricorn and so there's a breakthrough at this time um this could be also saturn energy helping you with your finances with the Nine of Cups reversed, uh, you're not in the mood to go towards someone at this time, okay? Or not in the mood, but like you're not in your element to offer love or there's the, or that specific person that you want to come through, okay, from your past is not coming in to show you love at this time. They can't because why? They're not emotionally available. Now let's look at, because let's look at the immediate future. In the immediate future, you have the King of Cups, the empress reverse and the ace of pentacles so let's look at this together so you've got the king of cups the page of pentacles the death reversed let's look at the empress the four of cups the nine of cups the five of wands The Ace of Swords and the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups comes with the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Wands reversed and the Page of Wands. Okay, when I asked about the King of Cups, maybe you're dealing with a Scorpio. If not, there's some type of resistance here. Whether this is you, maybe you have Scorpio in your chart. If you're Capricorn Capricorn and your moon or your rising this could be you or the person you're dealing with there's this resistance to change your spheres here to, to a situation but there is an offer with the page of Pentacles coming in so there's definitely an offer coming in this could be a job or money opportunity or it could be a start of something like a friendship okay or someone that's coming in with some type of stability now when I asked for the Empress reversed and why it's reversed okay it showed me here that there's an offer Again, there's still with the four energy. There's an offer on the table here. Some of you might not want to look at this. You're not, you don't care. You don't want to see it in this particular situation. The why I say that is that there's a lot of repressed emotions, okay? Frustration, anger, no passion in a situation here. Whether this is work, yourself, whatever that's going on, not no clarity, no communication, no creative ideas with the Ace of Swords reversed. Um, there's a tug of war going within you or around you drama fighting ego okay it's about raising above raising rising above these type of energies uh, this whoever this is is not feeling in that way but this is a wish fulfillment there is a wish fulfillment there's also someone here that is going through withdrawals of um, drinking not drinking any longer 
they're going through a very difficult time and a dark time at this time as well. I don't know who that message was for. But when I asked for the Ace of Pentacles, they gave me the Ten of Cups energy in the, okay, the Ten of Cups with the Page of Wands. Definitely there is a relationship here for somebody. This is positive news. You've been seeing the signs. It's a start of some type of passion. So when you see pages, pages are all about new beginnings taking place. The Ten of Cups, it's a soulmate, being contented, being happy. And it's coming in with stability. Now, let's look at the Ten of Cups because you got the Ten of Cups twice in your reading with the Ace of Cups energy. Okay, so let's see with the Ten of Cups. I feel for if you're dealing with someone that you're waiting for to come back, Capricorn, if you're waiting for someone to come back, if it's someone from your past and this person meant a lot to you, I feel that they have to complete their karma journey first before they come back to you. For some of you, that's what it is. You're waiting. You're, some of you are waiting for someone. Okay, <clears throat> let's go look at the Ten of Cups. Oh, where did the card go? Okay. <laughs> that is strange. Oh, there it is. The Ten of Swords. The Ten of Pentacles. Wow. This is what's hidden from you. And the Three of Cups. Definitely there's going to be celebration. And something. it's definitely someone from the past here. Uh, it's someone uh, that went through something very karmic. What is hidden from them. And the Ten becomes a One. So something is getting released here. You've got Ten, Ten, Ten on the ground. You've got how many Tens? You've got Four, Two. You've got Five... One, two, three, four, five. Five tens. That's pretty awesome. New beginnings taking place. Okay. You got the ten of cups with the ten of pentacles. This is a this is about the fruit of life. You worked hard for your pentacles. This is about unexpected money. It could be about a relationship. There's a lot of stability here. Okay, and definitely there will be celebration. And for some of you, this is someone from your past. Now let's look at the eight of wands in the immediate future. You got the Emperor. There is a commitment here. Aries energy. This is about setting up new rules, new boundaries, whether this is business, uh, you know, or love. It doesn't have to be that sign. The Ten of Wands and Justice. Beautiful. Yes, it's been a very difficult road with the Ten of Wands. It's been difficult. You've been carrying a lot on your shoulders. You've been going through a lot here. But the Ten becomes a One. Okay, so something will be lifted here. So and definitely something coming into balance. Libra energy. Definitely something coming into balance. Rulings would be made in your favor. And this is about the truth and nothing but the truth here in this situation. Underneath the deck, I got the Seven of uh wands energy reversed so it's definitely here someone is feeling defeated in a situation remember you're going through a process capricorn there is a process that you are going through here and um you know what spirit is showing me is that you're going to get abundance you're going to get these new opportunities coming towards you you're going to get a lot of gifts okay you got the ten of pentacles with the ten of cups energy you got the emperor with justice Okay, don't let's not forget you got the Empress with the Ace of Cups energy. There's in you're this indecisive about a special connection that you have here. Uh, so uh, hopefully you're gonna make the right choice, whoever this is. Now we're gonna look at what signs came into your reading. So what signs came into your reading, Capricorn, and we'll have a bonus round. So let's look at this together. Okay. got Libra and Taurus, Aries, you got Capricorn, Scorpio, Pisces,
Cancer and Sagittarius. Okay. These are the signs that came through in your reading. So we'll have a bonus round for this, okay? Now, this could be anybody in your life, okay? It doesn't have to be just your lover, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, wife, husband. It could be also a child, a friend, an acquaintance. And it could also be some people that you haven't been talking to or there has not been no communication with, okay? Just take what resonates with you and let the rest go. Um, now, if anybody out there in the Capricorn, my beautiful Capis, if someone could put a timestamp of my readings, would be really great. I would need the help if it's possible. If not, no worries. Okay? So let's see. Now, Capricorn, if you're dealing with a Taurus, Capricorn, if you're dealing with a Taurus, the message is I am sending you telepathic messages. Next message is someone here is feeling annoyed and uh, I can't walk away. Now, remember, these messages are soul to soul, heart to heart. And sometimes it's very hard for people to be vulnerable with each other because a lot of people are scared or they have fear of getting hurt. So these messages will light in that way. Now, if you're dealing with a Libra Capricorn, let's see if you're dealing with a Libra. What are they saying? I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry I triggered you. You deserve more. And they're feeling excited about a situation. And they're also saying, I remember everything you said and I don't want to let uh, let you down so someone here doesn't want to let you down if you're dealing with an aries capricorn oh that was quick you got i had no idea you would end up uh wearing uh no sorry meaning so much to me so i had no idea you would mean uh, you would end up meaning so much to me uh i don't want to miss my chance with you it's hard for me to explain things if you're dealing with a Pisces, Cappy, someone here is indecisive. Could be the Pisces or, yeah, let's see what else there is here. Someone's feeling, someone in here is feeling guilt. You are the only one who truly gets me. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, you are twin flames. Um, you are the one. What we have is soul recognition. If you're dealing with a Cancer, Capricorn, they're honest. You guys are, there's, you are old flames. My nerves get the best of me sometimes. And one more card for cancer. Oh. No, nope, more came out. I want a future with you. They're feeling stuck and they're guarded. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius Capricorn, I'm afraid to trust. There's resentment. And there's a lot of passion here. If you're dealing with another Capricorn or this is how you're feeling, Cappy, distant, repressing, the changes are real. I just want to go back in time. All right, so that is your bonus round. And now let's get into your crystals. What are the crystals that you will need for this week, Kathy?
<clears throat> you got two cards that came out. So uh, give me a second. That's first one you got is Shri Sokola. And I will read you the healing benefit. Okay, first the appearance is green blue or green blue often banded and opaque. And the healing energies are uh, aids serenity, acceptance, and inner uh, strength. It helps to heal in harmonious relationships. It dissolves negative energy and phobias. It embodies feminine energy. It releases feelings of guilt and brings harmony and promotes inner balance and confidence. And the chakra that's associated with this is the third eye, the throat, the heart, and the solar plexus and the sacral. So it functions for five of your chakras. And what it does is it, it uh, calms, cleanses, and energizes the aura. It opens the third eye chakra, uh, heart heals heartache, improves communication, and releases negative energy. So Shrysokola. And the next one you got is Snowflake Obsidian. And the appearance is opaque and mottled in black and white. The healing energies encourages receptivity, calms and suits. It balances body, mind and spirit. It, it um, reveals negative, not reveals negative patterns and behaviors. It promotes seeing the benefit in every situation. Helps to recognize and release negativity and empowers isolated or lonely people. And this is for the root chakra. Amazing. So this is for the five of the chakras. Okay. Uh, and so it encourages grounding energy. It purifies the atmosphere of negativity and it protects from negative energies. So you have snowflake obsidian and Shrysokola. If you are looking for crystals underneath my video, you could get, uh, you know, there's two websites, uh, family, family, family based businesses. Uh, and uh, there's coupons with my name on it with if you could get you could get a percentage off if you like that's for you okay and now let's look at the sacred geometry for you let's see what's in store for you for the sacred geometry Okay, let's look at the book. You got number 22. You got number 22, all right? All seeing and knowing. Your affirmation is, I am open to receiving divine wisdom. I am open to receiving divine wisdom. I am open to receiving divine wisdom. And so it is. This card has appeared today because you are feeling spiritually stuck. You feel as though your connection to spirit is lost and you aren't receiving messages in any avenue of clairvoyance, clairsciance, clairaudience, or clairconizance. It is time to rebalance and recalibrate and find the reason why you are experiencing a block in this area. There may be a number of reasons, whether it be physical, mental, or emotional. Whatever the reason, do not fear do not fear receiving divine wisdom that can be accessed if you are open to experiencing heavenly connections. So the practical application for this is by using and connecting to the Dodd uh, Dod Kadron through meditation and healing work. So you can take a screenshot of this if you like. Okay, so take a screenshot for those of you that want to meditate with this symbol. Okay, so uh, by using this, okay, and the healing you work, you can increase your spiritual and physical awareness and access your higher consciousness and vibration. This will lead the way to spiritual ascension and awaken dormant DNA. It activates the pineal gland, which assists with quantum shifts and, and accessing and working within other dimensions. The pineal gland also stimulates the, the release of melatonin, which is stimulated by darkness. By working with the with this gland and increasing the levels of this hormone, it will help regulate awake sleep cycles. So the crystals that you will need for this, okay, there's a few here, so I'll just name you a few. Uh, Herkimer Diamond, Moldavite, Brook Brookkite, Brookkite. Okay, let's see what else there is here. And Tanzanite. So Herkimer Diamond, Moldavite, brookite, tanzanite, and petalite. 
okay to work with this energy that's beautiful number 22 now we're going to take also one last card from your star seed family to see what your star seed family what is it that they want to relate to you what do they want to tell you okay let's see earth pulsing it says here pulse of the mother slow down time in nature this is perfect you need to spend more time in nature capricorn i also got that right now in how you could um just uh yeah just slowing down and being in the moment and in the moment where you are you will will you will receive the messages that are needed to come towards you especially in nature and with the birds okay so capricorn i hope you enjoyed your reading don't forget to comment like and share know that i have your back and that i love you and remember we are all one please take care and i'll see you next week bye bye